Welcome to Lexington Prosecutor News Online. We're delighted today to introduce our newest employee at the Office of the Fayette Commonwealth Attorney, Jenna McNeil. Jenna comes to us as a result of a, of a very significant grant renewal obtained by the Lexington Division of Police that deals specifically with domestic violence. Jenna's job title is called the Red Flag Coordinator. Now, Jenna, tell us your background uh, in the whole area of victim assistance. Well, um, I went to the University of Kentucky and studied social work, and there I had um, several chances to do internships with local agencies that um, deal with victim services, and I was particularly interested in that um, as far as it is in the criminal justice field. Um, and so I had an internship here at the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. Um, I believe my junior year is when I began interning here. Um, and that continued on until my senior year of college. After that, I was over at the police department and their victim services, um, and where I worked with mostly domestic violence cases. And um, after graduating from UK, I um, had a position at the Fayette County Sheriff's Office in their victim services division, um, doing victim intake when um, a domestic violence victim would come file um, an emergency protective order our office would do, um, directly work with them after filing that order and go to court cases with them. Great. The um, <clears throat> domestic violence is becoming, uh, oh, I hate to say it, but it's becoming increasingly um, serious mm -hmm. from a uh, danger standpoint. And this red flag coordinator sort of indicates the kind of cases that you're going to be involved in um, with an entire group of people who review these cases. So tell us exactly what, you, what the red flag coordinator will do with all of these other agencies that are involved in the investigation of domestic violence and in, in their attempts to protect people. Well, there are several agencies involved. Um, being the red flag coordinator, it's necessary that I work with all of these agencies because with domestic violence cases, it's often that um, it's common that, you know, there might be an emergency protective order, which is civil, it's not criminal, and then there might be something criminal with um, the police department or county attorney. And so in all these different aspects, they might not all become connected. And my job as red flag coordinator is to work with these agencies and help identify them um, so we can get everyone who works with these cases um, aware and um, uh, on track with these higher risks. That way they, you know, if one person at this agency is dealing with the emergency protective order portion of the case, then the people dealing with the criminal portion of the case are on the same page as far as the high risk level, um, the victim and what she or he might need to help increase their safety, and you know what kind of repercussions the, pro uh, the uh, perpetrator might face. Well, it's, um, there's no question that we've learned over the years that when all agencies work together to try to achieve the goal we can achieve a lot more as opposed to the individual agencies working alone. Jenna's job is going to be to coordinate all of those agencies that work with these uh, high-risk high domestic violence cases for which there may be some sort of scary possibilities for a potential victim. So Jenna, welcome to the office. We're looking, uh, we're looking for great things from you, and thanks for being here. Thank you, Ray.